What is up train fam? Well, it's a slight blizzard here today in New England or in Massachusetts. You guys all know that I'm from there. I got my trusty truck right here. We've been plowing all morning and look where we ended up. Charles Row Train Supply, the biggest train store in the United States apparently. We're gonna go inside and check it out. Why don't you guys come on with me? Charles Rowe Supply Company was established as a beauty salon with 60 hairdressers, but moved into the hobby business when Charles Rowe Sr. began selling used Lionel trains at one of the storefronts in Everett, Massachusetts. In 1972, Rowe started purchasing directly from Lionel to sell them mail order. By 1980, Rowe had completed Lionel's first million dollar order. Also at this time, the company had moved to a new location that we see here in Malden, Massachusetts. Okay, Tran fam, you have entered Charles Rowe and Supply, America's largest train store. So here we are. We finally made it. Tons and tons of trains. Look at that store. Wow. This is going to be awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a long time since I've been here, way before we started the YouTube channel. And we're just gonna go over everything. We'll go up and down the aisles and see all the stuff they have. Just tons of stuff everywhere. Wow. Wall to wall trains, literally wall to wall trains. Unbelievable. Wow. So I want to remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can hit that little button in the left hand corner, or you can go down to the description and hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me and the world to the channel. Speaking of the channel, we are at about just over 900 subscribers, so we're really close to that 1,000 subscriber mark. And I'm hoping that that this video will help us get to that point. So as you guys can see, they do carry a ton of G-scale trains. Lots of these USA trains, really cool stuff. But of course, we don't do G-scale, even though it's, it's really cool. And you know, that's, a hundred bucks for that box car is actually, it's not that bad of a deal, you know? It's kind of in line with, with O scale, maybe a few bucks more, but we'll come take a look down here. Some more G scale stuff. Pretty cool. And then this is what we came for is the this is the Lionel stuff, of course. Just wall-to-wall -wall trains. What's up, train fam? I'm interrupting this video just to let you know, make sure that you watch to the end of the video to see what we picked up at Charles Row and Supply. You're not gonna wanna miss it. And just for a little hint, here's the box. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Now back to our video. I could stay in here all day. Some really cool cars in here. This is cool. 
on the military cars. Awesome. Gotta love our military, that's for sure. And on the Polar Express. Wow. Look at this. Holy smokes. Since I've been in the store, the phone has not stopped ringing. And I can see why. Wow. Unbelievable. Some more Christmas cars over here. Tons of stuff. Buildings. Beer cars. Wow. If you guys know me by now, you know that I love Fords. That's pretty cool right there. Let's see some real king stuff over here. All nicely put in their boxes, nice and neat. Real king separated from the premiere. It's pretty cool. Look at this, Yankees. What is that doing in a Boston store? Hmm. Somebody must have got confused. Cool Lionel buildings over here. Those look like MTH tooling. Probably is. Oh, this is cool. PS3. It's not a bad price. Oh, tons of stuff. Cars, excavators. Here's your power dis distribution blocks. Atlas track. Some more cars. It's pretty cool. Skyline and a Firebird. Japanese and American muscle. There's some Woodland Scenics buildings. These are always cool. And of course, a ton more lino. Yeah, these are cool. I have to pick up a couple more of these one of these days. It's a cool old station. Bunch of cool cars in there. These are cool. A trailer. <laughs> trailer park. Cool stuff in here. All Lionel buildings. Just a ton of stuff, wow. A lot of towers. The line off figures. Oh, this is pretty funny. I don't either. There's the Isle of American Fly stuff. A couple of layout stuff and running today. They probably didn't expect to be too busy being a snowstorm and all. Wow. Thomas stuff. Fast track. Fast track. And more fast track. This is pretty cool. More trains everywhere. 
No, all right, so what you want to do, what you want to do is back. Okay, can you zip code? Got some cool cars in there. Turn around. Bunch of Lion Chief engines. Cab forward. Wow. That's a good looking one. Okay, I came back over to this case because this this set caught my eye. This is a cool looking set. And it's a pretty decent price over here. 809.98 looks like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's take a look around this side. Yeah, that's really cool. Look at that engine. That is sharp. Hmm. That's sharp, but we came here for something else today. This is pretty sharp too. Rio Grand Legacy 2882. That is a sharp looking engine right there. West Coast stuff. Strasburg SW8. A couple of ballast tampers. These are cool. And then we got some really cool looking diesels down here. Really cool looking diesels. This is nice, really nice. I am a big fan of the A6 6000s. That's a good looking engine. And of course, look at this. Wow, they got the verandas. There's a Union Pacific. And there's the US Army. Looks like it's sold. I can see why it's a beautiful looking engine. They both are actually. Okay, train fam, last but not least, we're gonna take a look at their layout. Unfortunately, it is not running today, so we will make a trip back, that's for sure, to check this out. How's it going, everybody? Um, but you can try to get the, a look through the glass here. It does look like a really cool layout. We've got G scale and O scale, and you can walk right around. It's a pretty good sized room up here. And you can see it is a pretty massive layout. But like I said, we will come back and check it out when it's running. It's a little tough to see, I do apologize, guys. But next time we come back, which, you know, we'll be back, that's for sure. I'm sure this layout will be running. Good size layout. I'll take a step back in a second, show you guys what it looks like, but that's a pretty massive bridge right there. So yeah, this will this will be looking good when it's running, and of course, got some cool model planes as well. Model planes, but mostly model trains. And here is a little bit of a wider view of how big that layout is. It's all encased in glass. They did a really good job. And next time we come back, the guys were telling me that it should be on, so that'll be good. Okay, train fam, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our little trip on a snowy day up in New England to Charles Rowan Supply, America's largest train store. 
Once again, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment below what you thought of the store, and we'll see you next time.